very good morning everybody i am dr sanjay ankli associate professor department of cse kele college of engineering and technology chikkodi in today's class let us see what is algorithm what are the characteristics of algorithm and what are the pseudo code conventions to design the algorithm now before we start with the definition first let us understand what is this algorithm now see this world is having full of problems now what it people will do or what computer science engineer will do is he will try to solve those problems to solve those problems he is going to write a sequence of steps how he is going to solve it now this sequence of steps will later be converted into a code maybe using c c++ java or python coding then computer start solving it so he is going to design the algorithm which is uh, how he is going to solve it then later on he is going to create a code this code will be used for lifetime to solve the problem that is a need of algorithm having understood why we need algorithm let us define what is algorithm algorithm is a finite set of unambiguous statements to perform a particular task now as i mentioned there are two keywords here finite if you are trying to solve a problem whatever steps you are writing they should be countable unambiguous means whatever steps you have written for example you may write three steps five steps or 100 steps whatever steps you have written they should be unique it should not be duplicate one right let us take a simple example i have taken a very very general example let us understand how to prepare a cup of tea step 1 on the gas stove very very important without starting the gas stove you cannot prepare tea step 2 keep vessel with a glass of water on stove for boiling step 3 add appropriate amount of sugar and tea powder step 4 boil it for 5 minutes step 5 pour half glass of milk and boil it for another 2 minutes last step taste it for taste it check if it is good if it is good serve it or else repeat step 3 to 6 again this is what we call it as algorithm how many steps we have written 6 you can see that 6 means it is finite whatever 6 steps we have written they are unique step 1 is different step 2 is different we can see that we on the gas to only once we will not on it again and again we will boil it only for 5 minutes it is not that we boil entire day right so this is called as algorithm having understood what is algorithm let us now move on and understand what are the characteristics of algorithm you can see that here we have designed a small algorithm we have written a small algorithm say so algorithm what it does is it is going to read two integer numbers a and b it performs addition of it and prints the result right so this is a structure of the algorithm now what what are these now forward slashes these we call it as comments for document documentation purpose we write a comments right so th there is nothing much special about these comments you can see that this algorithm will have only two steps one is sum equal to a plus b and second one is print sum that's it right so coming to the characteristics of algorithm the first characteristic is if you design algorithm algorithm should take at least one input and it should generate at least one output it can take multiple inputs it can generate multiple outputs but at least it should take one input generate one output for example if i call atm machine as a algorithm atm machines will take input yes or no it will take a card it will take a pen it will take how much amount you want to withdraw then only it will generate the output how many outputs it generates it will dispense the cash that is the first output what is second output it may display the remaining balance of your account right so the first characteristics of algorithm is if you design a algorithm it should have at least one input it should generate at least one output now coming to the second characteristics what is that finiteness as i mentioned if you are trying to design algorithm you have to write a sequence of steps that are countable you cannot write algorithm which will not stop at all 
okay so the only meaning of finiteness is i am going to give a solution with minimum or countable steps in the algorithm that's it uh, come to the third characteristics of algorithm what is the third characteristics effectiveness what is the meaning of effectiveness if i write a statement it is going to perform its work for sure 100% that is the meaning of effectiveness now for example i have written a statement sum equal to a plus b i am 100% sure that this statement is going to add a and b and it is going to store result in sum okay i have written print sum with this statement i am sure that it is going to display the content of sum that is the meaning of effectiveness now coming to the fourth uh, characteristics that is definiteness definite means what if i write a statement it will definitely do its work effective means effectively it will do its work okay so if i remove sum equal to a plus b then the algorithm becomes incomplete so this line is contributing its work to the algorithm print line it it is also going to contribute its work to the algorithm right so the last characteristics is whatever statements i am writing as a part of algorithm they are unique see the first step is sum equal to a plus b second step is print sum both are different now having understood characteristics of algorithm the most important part is how should i design the algorithm if i want to write my own algorithm how should i do it right so in the previous uh, slide i have already told you this is the structure of the algorithm what is the structure now i am going to start with algorithm then i am going to give one name to it what is the name of this algorithm sum it is going to read a certain parameters what are the parameters it has re uh, read int a comma int b okay then afterwards opening bracket closing bracket this i call it as block now inside a block there are three comments i have written what is the input of this algorithm what output it creates what is the purpose of these two algorithms right so this is how i am going to write the algorithm having understood what is the structure of the algorithm now let us see what are the conventions i can use to design the algorithm the first one is if i want to write a comment how should i write it i'll just use two forward slash you can see here okay so whatever i write followed by these two forward slash till the end of the line it will be treated as a comment next one how i'll write a block block means what what are the collection of statements i want to execute so i can just use a c a kind of block curly bracket opening bracket closing bracket curly bracket so anything you write inside these two curly brackets will be called as blocks coming to the third one identifiers we all know what is identifier it is a name given to the variable function name or a class name in java right so in our c program we have six different rules to assign a name to the identifier for example uh if you are trying to give a identifier name it should not be a keyword it cannot start with a number it should always start with a alphabet followed by any numbers you cannot use special characters right all those rules hold good here also okay so if i am going to define identifier it starts with a letter data type i am not going to mention depending on what work it does it is understood implicitly right now coming to the fourth convention compound data type we all know array means i cannot store heterogeneous collection of data items okay if i want to store heterogeneous collection of data items i am going to create structure in c programming if you come to the c++ or java i am going to write a class okay so if you want to create a compound data type you can write something called as a record how this record looks like you can see here it is just like a structure in the c program i am going to write see this is a record what is the name of the record node this is first data type second data type third data type and then i create a pointer to it anything you write inside this opening bracket closing bracket is called as a compound data type so we already know the concept of structure okay or class so 
if you want to create same class or structure in the algorithm this is how you can do it now coming to the fifth one what is fifth one is uh, assignment statements how i can write a assignment statement it is very very simple expression is equal to value for example if i want to assign 10 to a i am going to write a equal to 10 that's it now coming to the next characteristics what are the boolean values basically we have two boolean values true and false you can use capital true capital false what are the logical operators i have and or not same as in c programming what are the relational operators i can use less than equal to greater than greater than equal to double equal to not equal to that's it same whatever operators we have uh, seen in c programming same relational operators logical operators and boolean operators you can use coming to the most important seventh uh, convention looping statements we have basically three looping statements one is while loop you can see here second is for loop and third one is repeat until repeat until instead of do while in algorithm we have something called as repeat until now let us see what is the syntax of while loop similar to how we write it in c++ c and java i'll write while which is a keyword i'll specify condition if this condition is true whatever statements you have written in this opening and closing bracket will will execute coming to the for loop for loop is little different okay so what i am going to write is for example if i want to print i value from 1 to 10 what i do is i just write for i equal to 1 to 10 step means what how much it should increment will it increment one times or two times or three times for example if i want to print the numbers from 1 to 10 step will be 1 what is the initial value 1 what is the final value it is 10 right so all the statements inside these two curly brackets will be executed for each step so this is for loop now coming to the last one repeat all these statements until this condition becomes false okay so in c program we have do while if i want to design same do while in algorithm i am going to write repeat until now coming to the eighth convention conditional statements what are these conditional statements we have basically uh, three different conditional statements the first one is if statement how it looks if condition if condition is true then only this statement executes otherwise it will not execute just as c programming the same structure and syntax you can write now coming to the next one if else how if else will look like if else and switch together we can see right so let us see what is if else if if the condition is true it will execute statement one else it will execute statement two coming to the switch statement as uh, we have in um, uh, c language switch i am going to supply condition if case one statement one case two statement two like that and then i am going to close it we here i have missed a closing bracket you can take a closing bracket here right so if if else and switch whatever syntax we had for basic programming languages like c i can use them as it is coming to the ninth statement what is that how can i read input and output how i can read input and how i can generate output simple you can use a keyword read to read a data from the keyboard you can use a keyword write to write the data to the screen now coming to the last part structure i already explained you what is a structure here now basically it will start with the algorithm name of the algorithm parameter list you can uh, comment wh what input it takes you can comment what is the output it generates you can comment what are the purposes of this algorithm then you can write a logic what is logic collection of statements then you can close it that's it this is this is about what is algorithm what are the definition what is the definition of the algorithm what are the characteristics and what are the pseudocode conventions to design the algorithm thank you